Some people dream about ice cream, some people dream about Whoopi Goldberg, but this time last year, I was having dreams every night about Connor Bedard, the goal scoring, the stick handling, but guess what? Not only did I feel like I got slapped across the face when Chicago won the draft lottery, but as a Habs fan, I felt like the draft last year was a bit underwhelming as a whole. That's just my opinion, but hey, I'm over it now. What's done is done, and we are about to move on to year number three of the rebuild. And in today's video, I'm going to take a look at some of the biggest names that are going to be available at the 2024 draft. You see, the boys over at Daily Faceoff, they've been busy and they've already created an early draft rankings list. And at the very top in 2024, we got a young fella that likes to go by the name of Macklin Cilabrini. Holy smokes. We got another one out of Vancouver, BC. He's just under six feet tall, and last season in the USHL, he put up 86 points in 50 games, including 46 goals. Jeez, he, he's like Kostitsa. He likes to put puck in the net. You gotta love it. Now, obviously, I highly doubt the Montreal Canadiens are gonna be at the bottom of the barrel again this season, but hey, I, I've seen crazier stuff happen, and with the way these injuries have been going, you never know. Next up at second overall, we got Cole Iserman, who's an American-born player out of Newburyport, Massachusetts. Last year, he put up 28 goals and 16 assists for the U.S. National Development Team, and let me tell you, from what I've been seeing, he's a better sniper than Chris Kyle. Look at some of these highlights. Iserman's got a really quick release. I don't know about you, but so far, number one and number two overall looks really good. They look like the real deal. Now, coming up at third overall, we got defenseman Artyom Livshinov. Well, probably butchered that one. Anyway, he's from Belarus. He's six foot two. His numbers last season were incredible, but again, as a Habs fan, defensemen right now just don't interest me at all. Okay, Montreal's blue line is looking more and more like a buffet. And even though Artie's numbers are great, let me introduce you to who's next. Yes, he's a forward. Yes, he's from Russia. Coming in at number four, his name is Ivan Demidov. Wow, the, the stick handling alone is really impressive. Last season in the MHL, he put up 62 points in 41 games, including 43 assists, okay? So he's really creative. We're talking about a Russian Bob Ross here. I'd be happy seeing him in a Habs jersey, but again, I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming. Quickly moving on to pick number five now. Next up is Berkeley Caton or Catton. Whatever he likes to go by, I don't know much about him. But he did put up some really good numbers in the Western Hockey League last year. Believe it or not, he's also five foot eleven. Gee whiz, who would have guessed? Seems like everybody born from this generation is five foot eleven. Coincidence? Maybe not. Anyway, he plays forward, so obviously he'd be an interesting pick. Next up, we got Logan Mayu's buddy, Sam Dickinson, who's a defenseman for the London Knights. Aaron Kibiharyu is coming in at number seven. He's a defenseman as well. Consta paid at Hellenius is number eight. Ooh, look what we got here. It's a rare Pokemon, Henry Muse at number nine, and Cole Hudson at number 10. And yes, of course, Cole Hudson is Lane Hudson's little brother, who's also a defenseman. That's pretty cool. He's in the top 10. But anyway, there you have it. There's your early draft rankings, compliments of daily face-off, so you can let me know down in the comments section which players you like the most. I mean, personally, I'd be happy with any of these forwards, especially the ones in the top five. Please don't forget to jam the like button in a car door before you leave here. And hey, well, see you next time.